Commonly used items are saved as symbols in CAD systems to speed up drawing production. Any drawing file can be saved as a symbol in Draftit Plus, Pro and Architectural. Simply use the Insert Symbol command to select an existing drawing to insert onto the current drawing. This is quite straightforward and works well. However, if the symbol you want to create is only part of an existing design and not the complete drawing, there are two methods you can use to create the symbol. The first method you can use in all three versions, plus, pro and architectural. Start by selecting the items you want to include in the new symbol. Copy these items to the clipboard using the copy command from the quick access toolbar or use the shortcut keys CTRL plus C. Create a new blank drawing and then use the paste command from the quick access toolbar or use the shortcut key CTRL and V. Click into place anywhere on the blank drawing. Now use the set insertion origin command and pick an appropriate insertion point. This is the point that the cursor will be attached to when placing the symbol onto another drawing. Now save the drawing into a suitable folder with a descriptive name. If we create yet another drawing, we can now insert our new symbol into it. Select the Insert Symbol command and click on the Load button. Locate the new symbol and click Open. You can now see the symbol listed on the left of the dialog box and a preview on the right. Click on OK. The new symbol is attached to the cursor and can be placed as required. You can also set the insertion angle using direct input. Simply type in the required angle. Let's insert another one. This time the symbol is already loaded into the drawing so we need only to select it and click OK. OK, that's the first way we can create a symbol. Before we look at the second, let's close the new symbol drawing. The second method uses the Build Symbol command. Before we pick this, we need to select the items to be included as before. The command window instructs us to specify the insertion point, so we will pick the centre of the circle. Now we're prompted for a name for the symbol, so we type in the name and click OK. That's it, the symbol is now defined. However, the important distinction here is that this symbol has been created inside this drawing only, not in a separate drawing file. We can check this. Look at the symbol list by selecting the Insert Symbol command. Here you can see only the second symbol we created. If we now switch to the test drawing, only the first symbol created is listed. So how do we make the second symbol available to all drawings? To do this we need to go back to the bracket drawing that it was created in. Simply go back to the symbol list. The only symbol of course is the second one we created so there is no need to pick it from the list. Now simply click on Save and specify the name and location required for the symbol. To make sure we can access this symbol in other drawings, we will switch back to our test drawing once more. Back in the symbol list, we can now click on Load and locate the newest symbol. Let's test it. <coughs> 